Hey everyone, how's it going? Matt Roberts with Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. And today we're going to be going over using class tracking in QuickBooks. Uh, first thing, if you're watching this in YouTube, change the quality settings on your lower right. Looks like a gear to the highest available um, for this particular video. So with class tracking, we're going to talk about how to turn on the class tracking preference. Uh, I'm going to try and give you a brief explanation of what class tracking is. It's not very straightforward for most users. And then I'll give you a real life class tracking application that we like to use. So let's pop over to our sample company file here, Vandalay Industries. And the first thing we're going to do is turn on the class tracking preferences. If you go to edit, scroll down the preferences at the bottom and what you want to do is accounting and company preferences and right here you can turn on class tracking on and off so we'll select it um, prompt to assign classes will just tell you if you haven't assigned a class to a transaction it's really your call just know that it's there I'd probably leave it selected for now so you don't miss any but I'm also going to show you how to ensure that you don't so we select that and that's what turns on class tracking um, if we come to lists and class list, it's going to show you all of the ways that I've set up class tracking in this particular company. Um, basically, what class tracking is, is a way to assign a class to a transaction to track different, you know, departments, maybe business locations or properties you own. Um, it's really not cut and dry as to how to use this so you may need to figure out how it applies to your business if at all it may not and so it's always something you can turn on later and start using um, the way I've chosen to use class tracking and, and I think it's a nice application is to track sources of income and how we actually got the income into our business and I'm going to show you the report that actually makes it pretty powerful so like most businesses, you know, you're getting you're getting online referrals and then they're regular referrals just from various people. Um, and I've broken them down here to a couple of different people that might refer us business. Um, Bob Cobb, David Putty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what you now as you make your list out, what you do is assign that in this case, you know, it's not necessarily I'm not applying it to bills, I'm applying it to strictly income. That's all I'm really cared about here. Um, you may find a way to apply it to both income and expenses and that's something you're going to have to decide for your business but for our example if we come into an invoice here to Kruger Industrial Smoothing you can see here that this was the exporting of diapers and I've assigned it to George Costanza he sent that business in um, in another example we've got Pen and Publishing here um, bought 100 man's ears and that one came in from Crazy Joe Davola Another one, let's see, they bought 25 roll-out tie dispensers that came from Lloyd Braun. So now that you've seen a little bit of how you use it, how to turn it on, and where that class list is, I'm going to show you the report that actually brings us all together. And it's called a profit and loss by class. It's under reports, company and financial, profit and loss by class. Now you can see here here's our total income thus far and it's broken down by our referral sources so maybe you know in this case it's time to take Kenny Banny out to dinner I mean he sent us quite a bit of business and there's our total referrals this is based on the fact that on our class list I've made the various individuals that send us business a sub classes of the referral class itself and Google is on its own now one other thing to notice here is that we have unclassified and that's just a good way to notice that you know hey I didn't assign where this came from so in this case Kruger Industrial Smoothing bought some rainbow colored umbrellas we need to remember that oh yeah that's right Poppy sent us that business so let's get that assigned let's also look at this one we've got a few other ones here that haven't been assigned to anyone so we'll just pop in and sign that out and the same with that other one in there there was one more so now when we look at our P&L by class we're gonna actually see everything's class and who's sending us the business we have none unclassified 
it's showing us our total business and who has sent it in. So it's a pretty good report. Um, if you figure out a good way to apply to your business, it can be really powerful. Um, again, that was just a quick demonstration on how to use class tracking in QuickBooks. Uh, if you'd like to reach out with any questions regarding this or any others, feel free to. Here's how to get a hold of us. Have a great day.